day three of riding today. This is technically four days in, but day three of riding. We're going up to Slaughter Pen uh, stage three or four, I believe. And then we're gonna check out Mad Hatter and the RV up in Bella Vista. Got the bikes in the van. We're gonna be doing, uh, instead of biking all the way over, because there is supposed to be a rainstorm coming in in the afternoon, we're gonna trek and bike and van over, bike and then van over to the other locations and then do some uh, little poking around town so to speak anyway we're looking absolutely fantastic again day three of writing make sure you're stretched make sure you get those calories in the books for all this writing all right ladies and gentlemen today is han han cook collar Hancock collar, I believe you pronounce it. Got a little area right here, a little historic thing. We got a beautiful manicured lawns, big, big parking lot. Beautiful, beautiful, lush and gorgeous. We're gonna get right up on into it today. The little building right here is completely open. Got some screen doors on it. It's like a little historic little thing, but look at these windows. Big, beautiful beams right here. They got some steel fans in here, but no doors, just some screen doors, some bike racks. Hand cut, oh, hand cut, hollow, that's what I meant to say. Um, you got a pump station right here, some swings, a little chill little spot here, a little bit of history right here from 1916 to 49. Pretty cool little vibe in here, huh? This is Bentonville and Bella Vista for you. Just dumping some sweet cheese, beautiful landscaping, beautiful trails. Valley View School, 1916 to 1949. Again, parking lot right there and we'll push up right through here. Right past the school, we got a little turtle sculpture. Pretty cool. A little bug sculpture up there. Traveler's Loop, Traverse Loop. Here's the hub. Body machine, intermediate Janet. What do you got to suggest? Well, Interplanet Janet. Tight turn after it though. And then from the hub, you make your way all down here and then you climb back up to the hub again on Traverse, traverse Loop. Everyone has e-bikes, not everyone, but this transition up three or four times of this, you'll be pretty spent. It's not too bad, but you definitely have to pedal stroke. A couple rocks, you gotta hop up and over. Again, it's not bad, but after day three of riding, fourth trip up, you're gonna be a little cooked. But so far, the Janet one was fun. This is actually a little skinny they made from a down tree. Let's take a look at this. There's the hub in the background. Or, or no, 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 my, my zero hero, okay? So these uh, pavers, all right, let's do it. My Hero Zero. Cool little rock feature. Drop. A little bit of uphill. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Absolutely gorgeous. You can hear it come down through the canopy of the trees. Absolutely stunning. I'm having an issue with my crank, but uh, we're just not gonna hit any jumps, you know, big jumps or anything like that. For climbing, this is stunning. Trails are moist. They're not wet, wet though, which is good. Overcast day does feel nice. Whoa, that is a little slippery. 
It is. That back tire. Oh, wow. That definitely is a drop. I would not do that right now. That's pretty cool though. Just quiet and stellar. Roll through the schoolhouse down the stairs. Oh, absolutely. All right, folks, now we are in Bella Vista, Col not Colorado, Bella Vista, Arkansas. Across the street, uh, the main dragon and going back into Bentonville is literally right around the corner right there with low Starbucks, et cetera is. My property where I brought property is up on this hill. Uh, should be right here or right over here. And we're gonna ride the Wonderland trail system up Mad Hatter to the RV. Right now, a little drizzly. Parking lot's a little bit empty. But again, I wanna scope out some uh, properties uh, up here uh, because supposedly the grandson of Walmart is building a chairlift system behind the dominoes up this direction here. So trying to get my hands on a property for potential investment opportunity. So we're gonna go scope out a little bit of that after we're done here. If you guys know any information on the grandson building a chairlift mountain bike park in Bella Vista on that side, please comment in the section right below the video. I'd love to get some more info on it. Yep, little Sally up. That's pretty cool though. That's your Bella Vista uniqueness right there with the rock. Little ledges. Super new, unique. This is what Bella Vista trail systems look like. Little ledges. Then we connect to through the looking glass, which is a blue through the looking glass. Do not enter. But let me get a shot of this. That was a Red Bull. Now it's Trailblazers platform drop off to a wooden step up. You got to go. Yeah, you're gonna get some. You're gonna get some hang time right here. That's for sure. Random couch. And then you gotta do to Mad Hatter. A few little jumps on Mad Hatter. Burp. Wow. I think we're gonna skip the big drop. Not really my forte. Let's see, okay. Rollable, a little muddy, really muddy. Oh no, I don't think we're on the... Yeah, a couple little step ups, fun. There's another section right there. Yeah, a couple fun little ones there. And then uh, the big drop is on a different one. That might be new. Another asphalt with some berms over to our right. And then lo and behold, dun, 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 the RV. Yeah, buddy. So cool. They actually put a drop in over here on this side. That was a huck to flat, but got a couple trails right out of the go. Heck yeah. Dead RV, baby. The RV hub. <laughs> How cool is that, huh, Dave? That looked a little new for sure. We're gonna drop in to Ace of Spades. Should be tacky, but careful on some spots. Careful with dirt. That would be even more fun if it was completely dry. Oh, yeah. Fun though. All right, Sally up. Sally down, we're going Sally up. All right, Sally down, so let's see what we got. Might be a little bumpy, a little rocky. Oh yeah, 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 this is a fork. And then left, let's see what Sally's up to these days. A little burmy. Wow. 
Got some Rockies here. What is this? A little walk bridge. Burp. Careful. A little slippery. Burp. Still on Sally. Little slip slip through here. A little slip slip. And then back on home. This Sally, oh no. Come around the corner. Sally Beautiful little place. waterfall. Cool. Little shelf. Super unique, huh? Definitely unique. Oh boy. Let's see what we got here. Burp, burp. Oh, careful of the ledge. Nice little patio here. I've been enjoying the uh, morning breakfast. I actually scoot that over in this corner if it is a little bit too warm. Sun's coming back out after some rain, but again, really nice big porch. And again, slaughter pin trail system is literally right next to this big white house going over there. Step up here, big long driveway here as we saw. All right, now coming into the house, this is a shot of the living room. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. We've been here for several nights for mountain biking, but that's the reason why you rent the All-American. You have a little chair here here. Ottoman here. Nice big couch. We had three guys watching a movie last night right here. A uh, little side table which is perfect for kicking your feet up. Laptop work. Coffee which I'm going to do here in just a second. You got a nice table, six chairs, and then a kitchen island, which is really cool. So like you're preparing your food and again, two stools here. So you can eat up there. You can eat at the table. You can eat right here. Uh, nice windows when you open up the place there and there and here as well with the door here, modern door, little chair in the corner, some kids games. Uh, Candyland, etc. Uh, some nice decorations and then some pins right there where you can pin up your location on the board here. Uh, about a 42 inch, no 50 inch, 50 inch smart TV on the wall. Uh, it is smart, but I highly recommend bringing your own Amazon Fire TV stick, etc. That's what I have plugged into the HDMI port just so you don't have to sign in and if you forget to sign out. Uh, that would be a potential problem. So uh, they do have bike hooks because this place does not have a garage. Unfortunately, our 29 inch tires don't fit on any of these, but 26s or kids bikes, 27.5 should as well. There's four more on that wall and then two behind us we just saw. Nice French doors. And again, we saw the patio already in the end. Adirondack chairs does have a nice fridge and dishwasher course, big farm sink, microwave electric stove, if you are wondering. It does have a Keurig machine, coffee maker, toaster in the corner, uh, blender is located down here, has uh, um, enough cookware for what we needed. We probably could have used a, maybe another saucepan or something like that for some burgers, but for morning oatmeal, did the trick, spatulas. Uh, if you are a Folgers coffee drinker, they got plenty of free Folgers for you. Some things up there that people have left behind Behind, powdered creamer, coffee filters, syrup, salt, pepper, etc. But all your dishes that you would need. Uh, but of course, we brought some uh, of our own food there. Uh, we baked some Brussels sprouts. There is an available pan. We baked some Brussels sprouts last night. That was absolutely delicious. And they do leave all of the stuff behind right here. So if you need plenty of paper towels, they have fully stocked this bad boy after going to Sam's Club probably. Uh, kitchen trash bags, sponges, again, Folgers. They got wine openers. They got some knives and some cutlery and all that stuff there. Uh, peelers for apples. I think there is a wine thing in here. Barbecue lighter. There is a charcoal barbecue outside, but it's just charcoal. Uh, it does have some lighter fluid and some charcoal in there. I don't see a wine opener for some oddball reason, so you might want to bring your own. But anyway, very sufficient, very comfortable for several nights. We're going to be here uh, uh, one more night, so four nights total. We've enjoyed it. And I think I mentioned it, but there is a washer and dryer down the hallway in the barn doors, which is very convenient for, especially if it does get a little bit muddy around here. So I'm going to do a load of laundry before I repack. That is a nice option as well, and they have got plenty of detergent 
detergent and all that fun stuff. Freshness, fabric, softener, thingamabobbers. And in Bentonville, you do not drive to dinner. You bike to dinner. We're going to Crystal Bridges Museum, which is free, by the way. Open till 8. And then we're going to Wright's Barbecue. Open till 9. And then we're hoping this Spark Cafe ice cream truck is still open and hasn't been scared off from the rain. Get a couple scoops. It is Dirty Thursday today. We've earned it. It's our third time riding our bikes for full days. And of course you drop into Slaughter Pin Hub to get down to the green belt to go to down down for dinner. That's what you do in a biking community. Let's go. Turned into a beautiful evening. Absolutely stunning. There's the jumps from the first night ride. We're definitely gonna be coming back in the dark. I could get used to this. Bike community, bike town. So on the green belt, come to a little sign here. It says Crystal Bridges Trail. And that uh, museum south entrance, Crystal Bridges Overlook, one mile. All right, art trail to museum south entrance. That's kind of gnarly. <laughs> Wowzers. Goodness gracious. This is gorgeous back here. Look at this thing. These steel floating balls. by Walmart free emission summer hours right there if you can read it and uh, that is Jewel singing to their kickoff uh, event they're having a private kickoff event so we're just you know we're just in the museum right here and then oh look at these beautiful balls right here oh and then look at Jewel singing right there huh you know what I'm saying this is the 11 restaurant overlooks this here We've got a coffee bar over yonder out in this direction is where jewel is performing right over there with a nice beautiful lake here okay so this place is pretty cool we the people i think in gum we the people in no shoelaces that's pretty cool in shoelaces i think this is the modern section but it's also thrown in with some uh make a long story short we literally i was just telling my brothers we were exiting the museum how cool would that be to tweet the grandson of walmart and tell him thank you for making an amazing awesome city and we walk out by the bike rack and that's his electric bike right there with a child seat right there and he's like hey a real chill guy he's like hey you guys like mountain biking how was mountain biking we tell him he's like, what's your favorite trail and uh, we just googled him something in both my brother and i were like that's the grandson and it was yeah he didn't say anything about it, but that was him. And I asked him straight up if he knows anything about the land below my property, uh, about the chairlift. And he's like, ah, you know, but there's this group that might. <laughs> he totally knows. You know, he's a super nice guy. Nice to meet you. I doubt you'll watch this, but nice to meet you. Oh, and thank you for making an amazing town. Yeah, this, this crew might know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look how beautiful that is. 
So good. How beautiful is that? All right, dinner at Wright's Barbecue. They have a little bit more explanation at uh, inside, but uh, that is pretty expensive here, but the sandwiches are really nice here. You can look it up on Google, and they have a picture of this if you can't pause this. Uh, we're gonna go with the plates, it has two sides. Brisket is 18. You get uh, two free sides. Everyone on uh, Google is recommending the mac and cheese and uh, some other action here. So, you know, let's get on into it. Airship Coffee had nachos. Uh, not quite. Not like these, Dave. <laughs> not like these. Wright's Barbecue, an absolute smash hit. Double thumbs up. Okay, mission two, ice cream. Hopefully it is open. Cool cats work at this bike shop. If you are in this vicinity, Spoke Adventures. There's a pizzeria right there. This place is pretty cool. Haven't been here. This is called the Hive Restaurant next to the Museum Hotel. Very fancy, very expensive. The hotel at least. Not my uh, cup of tea, to be honest with you. I prefer something a little bit more Airbnb friendly, but uh, looks kind of cool though. Looks like they're having some private event or something. Ice cream truck is there tonight. That is beautiful. <laughs> See, Benzie don't mess around on Dirty Thursday. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. One more night ride now. Gonna head over to Leopard's Loop. See if we can see if the trail is illuminating. The camera's probably definitely not gonna pick that up. It is glowing, but you can't ride down it with your lights of your bike on. If you do, use a purple light and just be super, super careful, but it is slightly glowing leopard's loop. All right, so we gotta go super slow, but it is very unique. So we're gonna go back up to leopard's loop and do it back home now. And typically I don't do this, but we're gonna keep the vacation going for one more evening. It was a lovely trip. Okay, chiming in at the end of the video, and sorry, hair's looking a little sloppy, but anyway, I want to tell you about Leopard's Loop. Absolutely phenomenal, but again, do not use your bike lights with it or you can't see. You have to ride down it dark or with a purple light and it does illuminate. It looks like snow on the pavement. It is so unique and cool. Highly, highly recommend that. That. Also, where we were staying at All American Airbnb, which I highly recommend as well. This is our second trip to Bentonville, and my brother and I were discussing this. Last time we stayed more towards kind of the middle section where you could bike over to Slaughter Pen or you could bike over to Kohler, but we really enjoyed being really close to Slaughter Pen and downtown because we went into downtown every night on our bikes, felt like big kids riding our bikes till dark, getting ice cream, highly recommended. Anyway, there is a pavement area on the Slaughter Pen Hub area by the All-American Airbnb where you drop in and it's twisty and turny, I can't remember the trail name. That one glows as well. So that pavement glows as well as with Leopard's Loop. Be safe, go down in the dark, it's super unique and cool. Wright's Barbecue, thumbs up. All-American Airbnb, thumbs up. Big, beautiful Airbnb in front of us that's hosted by a guy named Todd. Has great reviews, a little expensive, but definitely really cool as well. Great meeting you, Tom, the grandson of Walmart. Hopefully we can ride bikes one day. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.